Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing some practical off-grid water purification systems. Now, there are many different designs for building uh, off-grid water purification systems, and we'll explore a few of those here today. The biggest risk in drinking most water is that of waterborne pathogens. Bacteria, protozoa, and other microscopic parasites can be found in almost any water supply, some of which can kill you, and many of which can make you wish you were dead. The thing to remember is that just because a creek, river, pond, or lake looks like it's fresh, crystal clear water does not mean that it truly is. As far as that babbling creek filled with crystal clear water is concerned, a dead animal might be in its water just around the bend from you, and you would never know it. Or, you are collecting rainwater from your roof, sounds good until you factor into the equation bird poop, and insects that die on your roof that get into your water supply and rot. Not to mention whatever is in the air that has landed on your roof. I only use this as an example of some of the things that can happen to water in the wild that can make it unsuitable for drinking. The first water purification system is the tree branch system. This requires a length of plastic tubing in which you have inserted a two inch long piece of soft wood which is then clamped in position. The soft wood has the bark removed just the inner wood portion is used. This is a very effective water filtration system but it is extremely slow. The next water purification system to try is the straw method. One on both ends of the straw is a filter that sits out any sediment that would typically be in the water. For this you could use a coffee filter or something of this nature. Then the inside of the tube is filled with charcoal, or activated charcoal if you have it, which kills the microscopic organisms present in the water. One end of the straw filters sediment from the water, the other end prevents the charcoal from entering your mouth. The next water purification system to try is the fruit method. Now the peels of most commonly consumed fruits worldwide are remarkably effective at absorbing a wide range of harmful pollutants, including heavy metals. You can use banana peels, tomato skins, apple skins, coconut fiber, rice husks, to name just a few. Simply throw these fresh fruit peels into water that you have simply filtered through a coffee filter to remove the sediment and let it sit for several hours and allow the fruit peels to do their job. The next water purification system to try is solar disinfection. Now ultraviolet rays from the sun are used to inactivate pathogens that are present in water. All you do is put water that you have filtered through a coffee filter into a glass jar. A mason canning jar is great and expose the water to direct sunlight for one whole day. Don't use anything bigger than a quart mason jar for this. You can also use UV light bulbs. Extended exposure to artificial UV rays serves as a purification method for water as well. The next water purification system to try is a gravity water, water filter. In this you get a one gallon bucket and fill it with raw water. A hose is attached to the bottom of this bucket. The hose leads into a one pint plastic water bottle that you have placed a chlorine tablet. At the bottom of the plastic water bottle is a coffee filter and another hose that leads into your reservoir. This can be a glass jar. Now the top bucket hangs from a tree branch. The plastic water bottle is below this, and below the plastic water bottle, with the chlorine tablet, is the reservoir bottle. In a half hour, your water will be ready to drink. 
The next water purification system to try is the ceramic pot system. You hang a large unglazed ceramic pot from a tree. At the bottom of this pot you have placed a coffee filter to block the drainage hole and you will put in two inches of activated charcoal. The raw water goes into the ceramic pot and filters through this assembly and collects in your reservoir jar. The submicron size pores of the ceramic pot act to filter out small contaminants while the activated charcoal treats the water by removing a wide spectrum of contaminants. If you find yourself in a situation where no body of water is close by, you can use the plastic sheet water trap method. Dig a hole in the ground and place a water container at the bottom that will serve as your water reservoir. You then cover the hole with a sheet of clear plastic so that the water will not evaporate out of the hole. Put a small weight like a rock in the center of the cover so that the water then gets con that water that gets condensed will then fall directly into your water reservoir container. How this system works is that the moisture from the ground evaporates and hits the plastic sheet and then falls back down into your water reservoir container. You can also wet the hole with water if it, you know, like raw water that's available to you and get distilled water out of this system. This is a slow water purification system, but it is a good one. For large volumes of water, your best method is to use a gravel and sand system. Simply filter your water supply through a five gallon bucket that is filled one quarter full with small sized gravel. The bucket is then filled one half full with sand after this is added a two inch layer of activated charcoal. At the bottom of this bucket are a series of holes the thickness of a pencil where your filtered water will drain out into your collection container. This is a good system, but if you are in a societal collapse situation, obtaining activated charcoal may, may be a bit of a problem. In this case, you can use regular charcoal, but if you do, you would have to change out the charcoal very often. And be absolutely sure about the safety of the water, you would need to boil the water for five minutes just to be safe, and it is well worth it to be safe. Or you could simply eliminate the charcoal layer and just use the gravel and sand layers and then of course you'd have to boil your water. This will successfully filter out most of the debris and weird tastes and smells in the raw water. In order to create drinking water you must next boil this filtered water for five full minutes. At this point all of the microscopic parasites, bacteria, protozoa and so forth are killed. The basic sand and gravel and then boil filtration system produces the best tasting of the waters and it is probably the safest system. If in doubt about any water, boil it. There are several homemade water filtration systems that use activated charcoal. They are all good, but in a societal collapse situation you're not going to be able to go to the local store and purchase more activated charcoal and the process of making activated charcoal is beyond what a survival situation will allow. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.